guys what's up this is rocky today's and i'm back with another tutorial today we'll be talking about gradients and how to apply those gradients to various objects like the ellipse over here all right so starting off we need to create an ellipse as well as we need to create a division element i will be guiding you towards this process i'll be showing you how to create a gradient and the process of creating a gradient involves two steps one is defining the gradient and then filling it into the ellipse which are, or whichever element that you create so let's move ahead i'll clear this out and we'll start afresh and i highly suggest that you pause the video and open up js fiddle and start off working along with me so the first thing you need to do is as you as usual copy the script script link over here you can get it from cdnjs and i'll leave that as usual in the description below after that you create a division element let us call it anything that you can uh, feel like let's call it let's give it an id called gradient ellipse all right so let's run it so that our ellipse right now will disappear okay so once it has disappeared we can start rebuilding it the first thing in the javascript file that you need to do is simple you need to invoke the function svg by creating a variable called draw and invoke the function svg give it the id that you have created over here so give it a size of about 500 comma 500 or whatever you would like to give it depending on the element size that you wish to display after that it's straightforward create an ellipse let us call it ellipse one and it is simple draw dot ellipse and give it dimensions 400 comma 300 all right so as you can see you have a black ellipse over here on your screen and now our job is to fill the black ellipse with a linear gradient so gradients are of two types one is linear one is radial what a gradient is is in general if you're not aware of the photoshop or illustrator or any other tools that use uh, gradients i would tell you that a gradient is nothing but a transitional change from one color to another so you can specify two colors and uh, change happens from one end to another end all right so uh, let's go ahead and build our gradient the way you do that is give a variable called gradient one or gradient or whatever you'd like to call it give it a uh, variable called gradient one and then specify draw dot gradient inside the function of gradient you have two arguments that you need to pass the first thing is whether you have to tell the system whether the gradient that you're going to create is linear or radial we will deal with radial gradients in none in the next video for so now give it in quotes the argument called linear and then you would create a function and give it a variable and this variable will specify at which point what color to take so let us say we will specify lx or you can give it as limits anything that you would like to call it let's say limits x and then start of the function so let's define the function how to define the function is that limits x dot at you need to put at at and then pass two arguments the first one is the coordinate so let's say zero it's not the coordinates that you would give in the general sense but it works under zero to one scale so all you need to do is give it zero and then give the color the second argument is the color so let's say ff3 or let's say f23 and then after that give a semicolon and then go for limits x and now you would fill for the one which means the termination of the color what color it ends so let's say uh, 434 oops all right you need to fill it with uh, hash to specify that this is a hex code all right so now we have created a gradient after i run it we see that nothing happens this is because we need to fill it inside the ellipse so what i'm trying to say is that gradient is created but we need to apply the gradient to the element so now we go ahead and refer to our ellipse which is ellipse one dot fill and inside the fill we just specify the gradient 
which is nothing but gradient 1. So let us run it and see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, we have a lovely gradient over here. And this is how you create gradients and apply to them. Lastly, I would like to specify how to define the direction of this gradient. So you can change the direction from where to where. So as usual, note down this guys, you have to give the coordinates in the scale of 0 to 1, not the usual sense. So gradients work with a coordinate system of 0, 1 or you can even give minus 1 as well in the negative direction. So all you need to do is give it gradient 1 referring to the gradient and then you specify from and give the coordinates in x and y plane. Let us say 0, 0 and then you specify the 2. So you give a dot 2 and you specify the ending point. So let's say 1, 1. So let's see what happens. Right. So as you can see, it is going from 0 to 0, 1, 1. So that means that it is going in a 45 degree angle. So if you are unable to see that, you can test it out on a rectangle. So you can change the coordinates to whatever you would like. So let's say 1, 0. So let's see what happens. Alright, so I, as you can see, it is going directly horizontal. Just like it is supposed to go. Because 1, 0 and 0, 0 are separated by a horizontal line in the coordinate system. If you give 0, 1, as you can see, it is going directly below. The way it happens in a coordinate system. So that's it guys, that's it for this tutorial, so today we have learned how to create a gradient, how to direct a gradient, give the directions and also how to apply the gradient to an element which is an ellipse in our video. Alright so I'll teach you how to draw, how to give a radial gradient in the next video. So stay tuned, keep watching and like and subscribe to my videos. Thanks a lot for watching, bye bye.